Okay. Um, chapters one and chapter two and chapter three, um, what we did is uh, we study how to summarize data and explore the data analysis with graph and numbers. Now in chapter eight and chapter nine, um, we're gonna discuss how you collect the data, right? how, how you correctly collect the data, uh, what are the types of the study and how to, um, and how to identify the bad way of sampling your data. Okay, so that's chapter eight and chapter nine. So that chapter eight is the idea of sampling and chapter nine will be the various types of studies. Okay, so first of all, population versus sample. I talked about this last time because it's just formal definition of population. So population in a statistical study is the entire group of individuals about which we want information. Okay. So everybody in the group that we want information. Um, a sample is a part of the population from which we actually collect the information and we use the sample to draw the conclusion about the entire population. Okay. Um, sampling design describe how exactly how to choose a sample from a population. Okay. As you might think, choosing a, a, choosing a sample side from a population is a complicated task. You're like, oh, why don't we just randomly pick one, pick a, 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 like a few of them out of that population pool? Yes, we can. Mostly that's what we do, but sometimes it's not good enough. Sometimes it's not good enough. <clears throat> All right. Um, All right, so this question, let me, let, let, before we actually dive into uh, deeper stuff, let's, let's try to answer this question. Uh, Off-campus housing, a university's housing and resident office want to know how much students pay per month for rent in off-campus housing. The university does not have enough on-campus housing for students, and this information will be used in a brochure about student housing. The housing office obtained a list of 12,304 students who live in off-campus housing and have not yet graduated, and mails a questionnaire to a randomly selected group of 200 of these students. Only 78 questionnaires are returned. Um, try, try to answer the two questions below. Um, maybe I'll make it in eye clicker. I'll make it in eye clicker. <clears throat> My clicker. <clears throat> Sorry, my hand touched the size again. Oh, it's gonna be a short answer. So I want you to answer what is the population and what is the sample in this study? Just try your best. <clears throat> um, Professor? Mm -hmm. Um. I used to be able to just go into your class. It didn't say I needed a subscription, but now it's saying I need one for iClicker. It's saying like my free trial has expired, but I thought if we used your code, we didn't need to buy a subscription. Um, the code is for, I have to connect the iClicker to the um, achieve thing, but I don't, I use it separately. Um, it should be free. I don't know why some people ask for subscription. Does anyone have that problem? Mine's doing the same thing to me. I have to buy a subscription. Okay. Mine yeah. does it too. Oh, okay. Yeah, some people does that. Now, for the people who cannot open iClicker question, please uh, put your answer in the in the, the chat box privately to me, okay? And I'm gonna email, tonight I'm gonna email that lady about the iClicker thing, okay? If, if, if it turned out to be have to pay, then I'm not gonna do it all together. I don't want you guys to pay more than you have to. <clears throat> Just put your answer in the chat box privately. And also, what is the sample too? Okay, I want you to tell me what's the sample also. <clears throat> mm. 
Let me see. Um, Mohammed, specify what you mean by that number. Brandon, good. Okay, pop, uh, good. Uh, good, thank you. Fatima. Fatima, okay. Uh, Fatima, no. Yeah, Fatima. Uh huh. Mm, Fatima Syed is it, is almost almost correct. You have to include the number as well. How many students? Mohammed. Mm -hmm. Good. Mohammed, be more specific. Um, I, I I know that the the numbers are correct, but what are the numbers is for? I, I meant context. Okay, Fatima and Jindria Rami. Mm -hmm. Good. Medicine. Uh, medicine, your first answer is correct. And I really like how you answer it. Um, however, the second answer is not correct. <laughs> um, Randy, very good. Oh, I like Randy answer. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, for those, I'm gonna put the answers here, and for those you got the right answer, give yourself two bonus check mark for each for one, one for each. Okay. Uh, one, I send the link for the bonus check mark. Um, it's, it's based on honest system. I remember who who is who. Right? So say, Randy answered a lot, so he, he got like five or six. That's that's you know, normal. But it's someone I never seen, and all of a sudden he got like. <laughs> Three, four. I'll be questioning. Right? I am. I familiarize with the names, right? and I associate your names with how many, how you respond to me and talk to me. <laughs> very good. Very good, Autumn. Mm -hmm. All right. So the. I hope you guys still can see my slide. So the the population is everybody, right? So in this case, they want to know. Um, they want to know about the people, the student who live off campus housing. So how many are there? The list contains of 12,304 students who live in off-campus housing. Okay, so, this, so let me highlight the population here in red. So, so that's how you say the population. Okay. Number and then the context. So what 12, 12,304 represent a student who live off-campus housing, right? Um, and then the sample is, the sample is from the group does the office actually obtained the information, right? I know there's they randomly select 200, but then only 78 return the, the mailing. So that will be their sample, right? 200 is what they want, but only 78 respond. So 78 questionnaire that are returned, that will be your sample. <clears throat> All right, so those uh, distinguish between population and sample. Um, next, I'm going to show you ways of a good sampling and bad sampling. So a bad, bad first, we're going to do the bad one first. So poor sampling is um, the type that volunteer self-selected convenient samples, often bias in favor of some items over others. And I'll explain to you what the volunteer and convenient sample mean. And the good one, the good way to sample your, let me see. <laughs> I have, uh, and Andrea, I give you, a, I, the extra credit is not meant for everyone. I give you a window of answering the question and just try your best, okay? Sometimes the answer is long, sometimes it is short. I cannot, I cannot control how fast or how slow people type. It's, it's, I cannot take everything into that, right? I'm just trying my best to give you more points, that's all. If you don't want, no, you don't like it, I'm just not gonna do it at all, right? <clears throat> all right, so the good way of sampling a something is involve random selection. So that means you give everybody, everything an equal chance of being picked, of being selected, 
Okay. Um, so there's no bias. Okay, so poor sampling method, like I said, I'm gonna go deep into ways of like bad sampling method. The first one is convenient sample. Convenience, like the name suggests, a sample composed of members of population who are easiest to reach, right? Convenient sample often produce unrepresentative data. So convenience, like the name suggests, you just kind of reach out to whoever that convenient, the convenient for you, right? So you don't you didn't care about who you collecting, but was convenient for you. So for example, um, using student volunteers as subject for research, right? So you just kind of pick the student that, that around you. Right, <clears throat> um, or ask question at the mall or, or on a crowd street with randomly selected participant. This is bad because um, say if I want to if, if I want some information, I go to the mall and I kind of randomly pick pick people to to ask the question for. Now you say, well, you random pick people. How come it's, it's bad? The thing is that, for example, if I want to ask, if, are they employed or they unemployed? Right. So first of all, I probably gonna add, aim for people who are well dressed because right? they, they probably employ. Uh, I probably ignore the, the homeless or you know the the, the people who I, I think that they mean. They probably gonna you know snap back at me stuff like that, right? So it, 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 your emotion play part of it, so, which is bad, right? It, it's not random. Right? I choose my participant, so that's that's not good. Uh, that's why convenient sample is bad. Okay. Uh, sampling with voluntary response sample, it means consists of, consists of people who choose themselves by responding to a broad appeal, right? They, you choose to respond. Volunteer response sample are biased because people with strong opinion are most likely to respond. Uh, right now, if uh, the gun control and abortion is in really high stake right now, right? So say, if you have a question is, should we legalize, um, should we not legalize gun, gun across US? So people who have gun or who don't have gun or feel about the safety, they probably will try, try harder to answer the question, right? To participate. I, I don't want, I don't, I, we should not legalize gun or we should legalize gun, whatever, right? So people who have strong opinion, they will reach out and try to be heard, right? For some people, they, oh, I don't have time for these kind of crap. I'm just not gonna <laughs> care about that. Whatever answer come out, I'm fine with it. But that's not how things work, right? We want to, we want everybody to have their opinion and collect, collect all, those, all, all the opinions and draw conclusion, not just the people who have strong opinion. <clears throat> so that's a volunteer response. Okay? You volunteer to answer the question. Um, do you have any question about convenience sample or volunteer, volunteer response sample? <clears throat> okay. Um, Bias, how survey can go wrong, how survey can go wrong. The design of statistical study is biased if it systematically favors a certain outcome. Um, there are three types of bias. We're gonna take a look here. The first one is selection bias. It's occur if the method for selecting participant produce a sample that does not represent the population of interest. So let me give you an example. Um, say, I wanna know, let me write out here. I want to know. I'll put it up here. I want to know what is the health, what is the personal health that linked to your work hour? Say health issue that linked to the people who work from nine to five versus the people who have graveyard shift. So you go out and you ask, are you nine to five? You say, yes. Are you work at night? Yes. And then you, you, you collect their health information, right? Um, and they conclude that after they do that, they conclude that the people who work at the graveyard shift had a, 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 have, have far worse health issues, like have more health issues than the people who work from nine to five. Conclusion. I'm not gonna write conclusion, but that's what they conclude. People who work at night have like worse health. 
right, than people who work from nine to five. Now, the problem with this is that um, <clears throat> while you're selecting people who work from nine to five, the problem with this is more like a social economic status. So a lot of, mo most likely if someone work from at night, at night shift is a lot of time they don't have skill. They don't have skill or um, they don't have a lot of un uh, employment opportunity. Right? So they don't make enough money. When they don't make enough money, what happened? They don't get access to a better food. They don't have enough uh, money and time for leisure activities. So at the, the result, the health is not as good to people who work from nine to five, right? Um, one way to fix this is in not just randomly pick people, but you have to actually go behind the background. Like if you work a night shift, is it because you, you're not skilled enough or you cannot find work? Um, no, right? Some people work at night like for nurses just because they're shift, right? They work at night because that's how the rotation is. Um, so you want to consider the background before you actually randomly just, just pick some people from nine to five and randomly pick people from uh, work at night, okay? So it's a lot of things involved, like collect, collecting a good samples, there's a lot of things involving. <clears throat> um, this leads to under coverage by which occurs when some group in the population are left out of the process of choosing the sample. Under coverage. So selection bias and under coverage go together. Right. For example, um, if you guys remember the uh, remember the the presidential selection in 2016 between um, Hillary versus Clinton Clinton versus Donald Trump, right? Um, before the the selection, they 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 did a poll and they they predict that roughly more than 50% will vote for Clinton. So it wasn't, it turned out different, right? Why? Because, because the selection bias, right? They, it, there's under coverage. They should have choose more. They should have choose more. So the sample size should be bigger. The sample, so under coverage here, your sample size matter, right? The sample size was too little. It, it, it's not good, in, it's not enough to, to draw a good conclusion. So sample size matter, bigger sample size, sample size, tend to, tend to, uh, tend to, tend to produce better and more accurate conclusion. So this chapter is a lot of time. I'm just talking, explaining, explaining to you what is each of a sampling is. It's not much of a numbers evolving. Um, now it's not always true. Okay, it doesn't mean that bigger sample size, I'm going to have a better result. But but most of the time, that's how it's happened. Okay, um, it's not 100% all like that all the time. But 95% out of 100, bigger sample size will produce a better result. Uh, Non-respond bias, maybe I'll highlight in red. Non-respond non bias occurs when an individual choose, chosen for a sample can't be contacted or refuses to participate. Um, how, how do I give you a example of this? Uh, okay, um, do you guys, sometimes you guys receive a scam phone call, right? So it's just some really, really strange number. Um, a lot of time they marketing, right? Just to tell a marketing. Um, a lot of time we're just gonna ignore it, right? But some people they pick it up right? and they answer the survey. They answer the survey. So say if I want to reach out to some to some household, like hundred households, um, and I want to ask if um, I want to ask some question, right? Is how many people in your household, uh, how many provider in your household, right? Uh, I'm probably going to receive like a few calls back, a, a, a few calls that actually respond to my answer, right? A lot of time they just kind of hang up on me, right? So that's uh, represent non-respond bias. 
you you reach out to the participant, but they refuse to respond to you. Right? So non respond bias. For for respond bias. is occurs when a survey respondent answer falsely, either deliberately or by mistake. So now, so let me go back to the non-respond bias. So say phone call, a lot of time phone call will represent the non-respond bias. Okay. Um, respond bias is say, for example, if I ask you, if I'm just gonna come up to you and ask you, uh, do you vote? Did you vote in the last presidential election? a lot of people is just gonna feel the pressure and say, yes, I did, right? But uh, in reality, it's not everybody say yes, that they're gonna vote, they would vote, right? Um, so so that's a respond bias, right? The, the people who question you give you a pressure, right? Is, so you deliberately just just say yes, just because, right? Just gonna say, your, say face. Um, so that's one way. Um, the other way is by wording effect by wording effect. Let me highlight what wording effect mean. Take a look at these two questions. Are you happy? How is your dating life? So I got this one from the book. If I ask question one first, say, are you happy? You answer. And then the next question I ask, how, how is your dating life? And then you answer, right? Now, imagine if I reverse the process. If I reverse the two, I ask number two first. I ask, how's your dating life? And then next I ask, are you happy? Then uh, all of a sudden the emotion is different, right? Are you happy? And then you kind of answer yes, either yes or no. Right? And then how's your dating life? The next question is kind of, is the two question is separate, right? Are you happy? How's your dating life? Is it separate? But if you reverse the order, they kind of blend it together, right? You kind of mean, oh, are you asking about, um, am I happy in my relationship? <laughs> right, so it, it could be the wording effect. Um, yeah, so those, um, those are the bias, those are the, bias, the types of bias that we um, encounter when we collect data or sampling the data. Okay. Okay, let's try this one. Let's try this one. Uh, for each situation, which type of bias do you think would be the biggest issue or concern? A magazine is interested in estimating what proportion of subscriber would like to receive the magazine monthly instead of two week of two weeks. So they want to know if the the subscriber want to receive the magazine monthly or bi-weekly. The magazine research group will send a survey to a random sample of its subscriber, asking them if they would like the frequency of public, pub, publication reduced from the bi-weekly to monthly, or would prefer that it's remain the same. Oh, well, I, I, they, ask, they actually receive bi-weekly first, and now they say, they ask you if you wanna receive monthly instead. Oh, okay. All right, so what's wrong with this question? Just an answer out loud. Andrea, good? Mm -hmm. Very good. Is it because they- You know what, go ahead and put it in the chat. I'll give you guys extra credit if you put in the chat, your answer in the chat. And then I'll, I'll ask a specific person to explain why you think it is. And like I said, I, only, I can only give you a certain window. Okay? I cannot wait for everybody to answer the question. Otherwise, We'll never finish the, the lecture. Okay. So I'm sorry if you, you cannot answer quick enough, maybe next time. Okay. I'm sure it happened to, to your classmate too, not just you. <clears throat> Daniel, what does that mean? Daniel, uh, more specific, there's all three types of bias, sample bias. So pick one. Randy is not the, <laughs> are you pick a, uh, Randy is not it, it's not it. Max, good, Max, uh, Max, how well, good. Brendan's good, Steph, good. Tiger, not quite. Um, Fatima, no. 
Uh, Rami, mm, no, no, not that's not what I'm looking for. Um, Andrea, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, Mohammed. No, no, maybe it's um, it's like the opposite. Um, Jay, very good. Okay, let's see. Fine, more. Anthony, good. Mallory, good. Kyle. Uh, no, that's not I'm asking. All right, that's it. Um, very good. Um, it is the non-respond bias, right? Can can someone explain why it's non-respond bias? One of a few of you say it's non-respond bias. It would be non-response because a lot of people get spam emails. Mm -hmm. and, and so if I saw that pop up, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I don't really care. Oh, yeah. way. Well, you know, I don't know how to. Very good. Yeah, that's it. Non-respond. Non-respond bias. Mm -hmm. Because because a lot of times you're just gonna not answering it, right? Some people probably choose like a very small portion. People will choose to answer, but most people will just throw things away. Um, there's one more thing about this one. There's one more. In, so that's not respond bias, but in, in terms of sample, not in sample, right here, in terms of sampling, there's the two, two bad methods here, three bad bias and two bad sampling methods. Which one you think is it, it is? You don't have to answer in the box. Mm, you don't have to put it in the chat. I just want would it be voluntary response? Mm -hmm. Yeah, volunteer, right? So some people volunteer to re to re return the, the mail, but most people throw it away. So it's also respond, a uh, volunteer respond sample. Okay. So remember here you have three, two bad sampling and three bad bias. Right, so five to <clears throat> okay. Um, the next one you can put in the chat. By the way, the people who got the right answer, give yourself a bonus check mark. Okay. Uh, but by the way, number two, I just need the bias. I just need the what, what type of bias, three of them. Just, you don't have to do the sampling. So uh, for Jay and Kai, you want to read, we answer the question. Mm -hmm. Fatima, no. Fatima, no. Andrea, no. Steph, no. Tyler, no, not Tyler. Um, mm -hmm. Rami is good. Yep. Max. Max, no. Mohammed, mm -hmm. Kyle, good. Jay, no. And Randy, no. Uh, Jay, no. <laughs> Steph, no. Muhammad, uh, Brendan, yes. Autumn, yes. Steph, no. Fatima, Syed, yes. Anthony, no. Andrea, no. Madison, no. All right, that's it. Very good. Uh, thank you for response. Um, it is it is non respond again, right? Remember non respond bias? It's phone call. I put it there. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let's do that again. Hang on. Let me automatic thing. All right, so it's non-response bias. Um, I'm gonna volunteer again, right, non-response. I wish I could give you a different example that have a different type. And it's voluntary again, voluntary respond sample. 
All right, very good. On the exam, I'll probably have some of these and just tell me um, either non-respond bias or volunteer respond bias sample. And I, I need you to explain this a little bit. For example, this one right here is non is non-respond bias because most subscriber will probably um, not respond, not return the answer. You, know, you can throw things away, whatever. It's just something in that that context. Like some somebody say you know, they just kind of throw things away. Um, <clears throat> I'll accept that one too. All right, um, good, now good sampling, good sampling. Um, good sampling is the, the most simple, the most, the simplest one will be simple random sample, right? Uh, what is simple random sample is of, of, of size n, n could be any number, right? You want 10 people in your sample, 20 people, 100 people, 1000 people, doesn't matter. So just, just put the letter n here, right? Size n consists of n individuals from the population chosen in such a way that every set of individual has an equal chance to be sample uh, actually selected. They have equal chance to be selected, right? Not bias. This, so back in the back in the old day when we don't have computer, um, the 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 simplest way is to put the name or whatever things, whatever object or subject in the hat, right? And then we randomly pick it out, we draw a handful. So that's just sample. Right? Simple random sample. Uh, but nowadays, mostly we use computer to obtain the simple random sample. Okay, just plug in the computer, uh, say, you, uh, say I have a group of 100 people, I wanna select 10 people. I just put their name in the computer and then the computer will chew for me. Right? Now, let me talk about the uh, replacement and without replacement. So replacement, Replacement sampling. Replacement sampling. Sampling um, is when say um, say I have I have ten students, but I only have five presents, and I want to give that five presents to five students out of ten, right? So what I get, I do is I I get it out of my head and put ten student names in the hat, and then. Um, and then you guys pick, right? If you if 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 you got the name with the star on, a star in it, then you got a present, right? Um, now, without re let me talk about without replacement first. Without without replacement. So without replacement is that say Randy pick and then he got his name and that's it. He not allowed to put his. So the first terms are five five turns, right, because five present. So the first turn, Randy pick, and that's it. He not allowed to put his name back for the second turn or third turn or fourth turn or fifth turn, right? So that's without replacement. You pick, you got your turn, one, and that's it. For replacement sampling is that say, Randy pick his name and he didn't get the present. He, if with replace sampling, replacement sampling, he can put his name back for the second, for second round. Does that make sense? <laughs> Yeah, so you give yourself like five and five chance each, right? Um, so that's replacement sampling and without replacement sampling. Um, we're gonna use R Studio and calculator to create the sample, the simple random sample for us. So, so let me show you how to do it in R Studio first, and then we'll calculator next. I'll just end that one. All right, so the R Studio, come on, uh, R Studio. First, the command is sample. Sample right there. 
And you see the light right there, x comma size comma replace equal false, or probably no, you don't need to do the probability equal no thing, but replacement false mean without replacement, right? So x say, um, I wanna, I wanna put, I wanna put a vector, say a bunch of people. So vector C, say I put Max, I put Randy, whatever name come up in my head, okay? Fatima, sorry, I didn't put your name in a capital, okay? I didn't mean to, just it's a lot of work. Um, did I spell Fatima wrong? Yeah, it's correct. Oh, okay, thank you, thank you for uh, confirm. Um, do I have, do I, oh, what do I have? And um, Carly, let me see there, Carly, one more. Um, um, Amat, Roman, I yeah, remember, remember your name, Andrea. Okay, that's it. And how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Um, so that's that's x, right? A, a vector of, of names or vector of number, whatever. I chose name here. And then um, psi. So psi equal. I say I want three people. Right? And then uh, replace. I, I I without replacement. So I'm gonna put replace equal fall. Well, and that's it. You don't have to worry about the no, probably no thing. Oop, many not found. Something wrong. Something wrong. Max, Randy. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> Randy not found. Randy is part of the sample side. Why? He doesn't like you, Randy. Um, sample. Length of vector, size, replacement. Yeah. Right. Why won't? Oh, the vector, it has to be number. Got it. Never mind. Sorry. Um, five, six, eight, nine. I'm just going to pick some number here 12, 34, et cetera, 45, 100, five. All right. Ooh, not five. Okay. So that's a number. Maybe two. And I want the size, say I want size five. Right? Replacement without replacement, enter. There you go. It's kind of pick those for me, right? Why, why do you use numbers instead of names? Um, it, it not allow me to use name because C is a vector. In vector, they want number. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do name. I'll show you. Uh, you can do name though, but that's longer code. So, so what I can do is I can assign, like say, uh, Randy is number one, Max number two, and stuff like that, right? I can assign number to people. Um, all right, so if you, if you hit the arrow key, the, uh, the arrow key, up, up arrow key, it'll, it'll return the same com command. And then I wanna, I wanna change false to true. That means with replacement. See, look, number 100, 100 re, allowed to repeat it. He, he, so, uh, so, Han want to, so five, five turn, he actually got two. He got picked twice, right? Um, okay, but compute, a calculator is more important. I'm going to show you how to do a calculator. People cleaning outside. Um, okay, so here is a step. Now the first step, let me talk, let me talk first and then I'll let you guys do it. Um, the main command is ren, ren in, ren in, ren integer, uh, lower, upper, and then sample size, n is sample size, okay, n is sample size. See how many you want, yeah. Um, first, the, the reason I'm, I set seed, because I want everybody to um, have the same outcome. So go ahead and set seat number one. And then stole, stole key is the lower right, oh no, lower left, the second from lower left. You see STO stole, and then go to math, prop, rand, and then enter. And then you can go back to press math and prop. 
number five to select command when in. Then you input the upper, lower, and end values. Um, this is what we're gonna try. So enter that. Okay? The lower value is one and the upper value is 10. So from one to 10 and four is, I wanna choose four number out of from one to 10. Okay, go ahead and do that. If you get something, let me know. Uh, let me know what you, what you got something, put it in the chat. I wanna know what you got. I'm gonna do the same. Yeah. Uh, right there, the first step, press number one, and then press stole. The stole key is the lower left, lower left, the second key from lower left. Okay, I see it. Thank you. You're welcome. Map and prop. Ram and enter. Sessi, okay. press map again. Do it once, okay? Don't do it. Try to give you a different row, different four people. Map and prop, four number. I did something wrong. Map and then prop and number five. Try one, comma 10, comma four. Okay, you guys should get eight, nine, three, five. Because we set C to one, everybody had the same answer. So the first try when you press enter from ren in, you should get eight, nine, three, five. Everybody has to have the same answer. And this is what I'm gonna do on the exam. Everybody, I want everybody to have the same answer. So it's just easier for me to, to grade. <clears throat> Thank you, Brendan. Anybody have the same thing that Brendan had? You don't have to do private. On, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Andrew. I have a TI-30. I don't oh, know if I, oh, okay. I, I don't know if I can do it on this one, but. I try it, see. Maybe this I don't know if I have a math button. Oh. <laughs> I have, I have stow. Oh, you should have math though. It's very, um, you know, you should have math. It's, it's very basic stuff. The calculator is for math, so you have to Would it be like the second button or? For me, is I don't know if you can see. For me, it's right here, the upper left, the third one. But maybe. Yeah, I have natural law and log. No, 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 not log. And pi. No math? No, no math. I have problem, I have degree, delete. Look up on Google, see how do I, is there a math key in TI-30, TI-30, right? So what you have? Okay. You look it up, see on the internet, see. Uh, worst case scenario, you can borrow a calculator. I, I, I send you the link in Moodle, how to cal borrow laptop or calculator. Yeah. I can, I let, I'll, on the exam, I only have one, I only have one to let one person borrow. On TI four. Oh, TI third. Uh, what do you have? TI what? Eighty. Um, TI it's TI thirty X. It's just like the calculator that you get. Oh, oh, you know what? Uh, it's not even. Ones. Oh, it's not even a scientific cal. It's um. No. It's a scientific calculator. It's not graphing calculator. Mm -mm. Yeah. So I'm so sorry. I don't think you can do that in there. Okay. Yeah, you have to get a new one. Oh, no, not new one, but you can borrow a new one. Okay. Uh, after this, um, just put what you have in the chat, and then you can leave. I want to know you. Um, Professor, I don't know. I thought I did it right, but I keep getting error. Oh. Like, how do I know where I went wrong? <laughs> I can see you. Um, <laughs> did you I did the step that I told you to do? Yeah, I copied it. Um, okay, forget about C. Let's do math first. Go, you have math and math. Okay. And then go over prop, the very last one. 
Yeah. And then press number five. Yeah. And then press one, ten, and four. And press enter. One comma ten comma four. Thank you, Max. Thank you, Jay. Okay, I got it. I okay. think it's because I added a parentheses at the end. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, if you set C to one, this should you should have the answer eight nine three five. Randy, uh, you have a different answer. You didn't set seed. Eh, doesn't matter. How do you set the seed? Oh, right there in, in my uh, my share screen. Okay, for those people got the, the answer, you can leave. It's, class is done. All right, thank you very much and have a wonderful weekend. Uh, I'll send some email, the extra credit link um, based on Honest System. Uh, and then uh, the procedure, how to do the final, uh, I'm sorry, final exam, the exam one, okay? All right, have a good weekend. If you have question, uh, I'll be here to answer your question. If not, have a nice one. You too, Roman, thank you. Every time I try to set the seed, mm -hmm. um, it tells me error. Oh, uh, okay. I can do the math part. I know, I know, but we will, you won't have the same answer. Um, okay, all, all right, clear everything. Let's do what I tell you to do. Number one, and then stole, and then math, and go over prop for probability, and then rend, and then enter. Still? Press enter twice. Oh, okay. Enter twice. All right. I should have. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Did you get that, Fatima? Was it Fatima asking me? No, it was Autumn. I got it now. Autumn. Okay. Thank you. Brendan, what's question mark for Brendan? You can talk to me. Um, so you were saying write down like check marks. I was confused by that. I didn't oh, know. Um, I haven't sent you the link yet, but remember how many times you got right. Okay. That's, okay. So let's say you have four, four times you have the right answer. So that's four, four points. Okay. So under the date, I'm going to have date because today is the 20, right? Under that date and with your name, put five in there or four in there. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry. I was just confused. No, that's okay. <laughs> that's all right. I did one so stole my for for interest in the <laughs> Oh yeah, that's um that's uh, what you got. Let me see one stole man. Yeah, you should get that. Jay, you should get one. It means it's it's in the system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> You're welcome. Have a good one. And when you say n values, do you put in one, 10, or four? Or do you just put like how many values there is? Uh, so one is a lower value, 10 is the highest value, the upper. So you say that you tell Link a calculator is go from one to 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then the number four is the sample size. You want the calculator to pick four number out of that from one to 10. Does that make sense? Yes, I actually got it now. Okay, good. So it's eight, nine, three, five. Mm -hmm. if, you right. set C, yeah, if, if you set the C, like I show you in the slide, you should get the same uh, eight, nine, three, five. Yep, that's what I got. Okay, perfect. All righty, thank you. You're very welcome. Have a nice one. You too. Jay, do you have any question? If not, I'm gonna leave. All right, bye.